So today we'll be talking about diabetes and how it affects the kidneys. Diabetes is a condition whereby the body is not able to utilize the blood sugar. So what happens is that the sugars in your blood remain persistently high. Now remember whenever you eat, the food is basically converted to glucose in the body because the body utilizes the glucose for energy. Any excess glucose is now stored either in the liver or in the adipose tissue to be utilized later on. So once when the, board, the food has been broken down and into glucose, then the body produces a certain chemical or a hormone called insulin, which is produced by an organ in the body called the pancreas. Now in diabetes, what happens is the amount of insulin is low. So the body is not able to utilize the glucose which is found in the blood and hence the glucose levels remain high. Broadly speaking there are two types of diabetes, there is type 1 diabetes and there is type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes there is no production of insulin which is why these patients who have type 1 diabetes have to be on insulin which is an injectable drug. In type 2 diabetes which occurs later on in life is caused by deficiency of insulin. So initially we can use tablets to help control the blood sugars but over time if it is left unchecked then it can cause more damage to the pancreas which is producing the insulin and subsequently even patients with type 2 diabetes do end up requiring insulin. Well, if you have diabetes then it's important that you are advised on diet which will help to reduce the blood sugars and of course it's important that you see the diabetic specialist or a physician to assist you in starting medications that are appropriate for you to control the blood sugars. Now remember that you may be started on insulin, which is an injection, or you may be started on tablets depending on the level of diabetes that you have. If your blood sugars remain uncontrolled and they remain persistently high, they will start damaging your critical organs including the heart, the liver, the kidneys and the brain because this sugar by itself is quite harmful to the body. It causes um, certain chemical reactions within the body that are not good and these subsequently damage your blood vessels that are supplying blood to the kidneys, to the liver, to the heart and to the brain. And over time, five years or 10 years down the line, you start noticing the effect of the high blood sugars because you start developing kidney failure, you start developing heart failure, or you're going to develop a stroke. So that is why it is very important that if you have been diagnosed to have diabetes, you start your medications, you start controlling your diet, you start visiting your doctors regularly, so that your blood sugars are well controlled. Exercise is also important when it helps to control our blood sugars. Of course, especially for diabetic patients, it is important to do the exercise under supervision of your medical provider or your healthcare provider because apart from your sugars being high, your sugars can also go low especially if you have injected yourself insulin and start exercising. And low blood sugars are more dangerous in the short term than high blood sugars. Because if your sugars go too low, they can cause you to, have to go into a comatose state and then that becomes quite dangerous. So exercise is very important. Just a few pointers on exercise in patients who are diabetic. 
please make sure that you take a snack before you start exercising. If possible, check your sugars to make sure that they're not too low because if your sugars are low and you start exercising, they'll go even lower and this can cause more problems for you. When you have diabetes, it's important to go for regular checkups for your kidneys. Okay? You'll find that the, your medical uh, doctor will start asking you to do a urine test and a blood test for the diabetes. Because one of the earliest signs of diabetes affecting your kidney is if you start having proteins in the urine. Once when you start having proteins in the urine, then you know that your kidneys have started getting affected because of the diabetes. And it, if it's early on, we can give you medications to reverse it, we can control your blood sugars and this may help to reverse it. But if it is left unchecked, then unfortunately this becomes permanent and it can lead to progression of your kidney disease. So, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider about your kidneys, especially when you're diabetic, so that they can do regular checkups for you, for your, for your kidneys to make sure that they're fine, for your heart to make sure that your heart is fine as well. It's important that you take control of your diabetes, if you have diabetes, because there's nobody who would understand your body better than yourself, okay? So it's important to invest in a blood glucose monitoring device called a glucometer. It's important to be regularly checking your blood glucose levels if you have diabetes. It is important to make sure that you do not skip your medications. It's important to make sure that you eat the diet that is recommended by the nutritionist or your healthcare provider. It's important to remember to exercise, but of course, under medical supervision as well because of the risk of your sugars going too low and regular checkups with your healthcare provider.